and some staff of the health ministry and visitors were denied access to the premises following the ministry's no vaccination, no entry directive. My colleague Sarah Pencrop Paku reports other ministries and government agencies are considering implementing the same directive. Security personnel were present to ensure compliance. Staff as well as visitors were asked to show proof of vaccination before being allowed entry. They were further asked to show any national ID which should bear the name on the vaccination card. Unvaccinated persons were directed to the nearest vaccination centers. Some visitors were unhappy about the directive, which, according to the ministry, forms part of measures to curb the COVID-19 spread. <laughs> Checks at the Employment and Labor Relations Ministry revealed that management was considering replicating the directive. As a ministry, I think that today is, happens to be the first day that we are reporting to work. Later by 2 p.m., um, we will have a management meeting and then we will decide on the way forward. The HR and the management should be able to put in place um, some measures so that at least when people get in, we we'll ensure that their temperature is taken, they have their cards uh, just to authenticate that indeed they, they have taken the vaccination to make sure that all of us are safe at our workplaces. The pace is set. It begins here at the Ministry of Health. No vaccination card, no entry. You might want to carry along your vaccination cards if you have plans of conducting business with any government agency or ministries across the country. My cameraman and I have been denied access to the ministry because one of us have left a vaccination card. Sarah Apenkropaku, TV3 News, Accra. I recall, I said that yes, some persons who are in court challenging this composite mm. vaccination matters, right. some agent fee and a few other like-minded persons. But my colleague, Judith Awachitando, in view of the rising COVID-19 cases, has also been finding out how the no vaccination, no entry policy would be implemented in other public places and how effective it would be in reducing infections. A random checks at some public places in parts of the capital was to gauge levels of awareness and preparedness in the wake of the upsurge in COVID-19 cases. We wanted to find out how feasible the no vaccine, no entry policy could be. We visited a supermarket located at Osu. So I entered the supermarket with my COVID-19 vaccination card. Yes, COVID protocols were being observed there. However, when I entered, I was not told to show any proof of COVID-19 vaccination. Well, although authorities were not willing to speak to me on record, they tell me that such a policy would gravely affect their businesses as it will be difficult to prevent people who are not fully vaccinated from shopping at their centre. The situation at a local eatery close by was not any different. This is another public space, a local chop bar, where people troop in and out every day to eat all sorts of dishes. But how feasible will it be to check a COVID-19 vaccination card in such an area? I'm not sure the policy would even work in the first place. Why? Because um, we have lots of workers and then we can't say we are checking everybody. Most people don't even want to be vaccinated. Mm. So we can't say we are checking all of them or sucking them because they don't want to be vaccinated or anything. At the 37 lorry station, transport operators were loading their buses without any regard for COVID-19 protocols nor vaccination cards. This bus driver at the station complains about the difficulty in implementing such a directive. It will be difficult because as a driver, I cannot suck passengers who do not have a vaccination card. Some passengers shared in his view. Not having this card and you not be allowed to go to places and stuff, I'm not really okay with it. For me, I don't think this vaccination thing would help because if you, if, if you could check well, most of the, uh, the passengers in the car 
no one has been asked for his or his vaccination card before entering to the uh, and then when you go to most of the places too no one has been asked for his or his vaccination card what well, you heard for yourself a lot of transport operators as well as vendors at public places are not happy about this new directive and believe that it cannot be easily implemented judith our chitando tv3 news accra